Early morning, 6 a.m. I'm gonna go with the uh, body armor. Okay, let's get to the truck. Birds are a chirping, and I am taking a walk. Oh, there's the birds. Okay, I'm taking a walk on the wild side. Oh, yeah. There goes Cash's school bus. If he was riding the bus, he could have this year, but uh, you still have to like walk him down there every morning. So T Dubs just takes him to to school. But next year he'll be able to go by himself because uh, his brother will go with him, so he can teach him the ropes. And there she is. Let's get over to Athens. Who knows 
where this industry is going to go either. I mean, it's still a great place to make some money and provide for your family, but it's a little harder to do nowadays. As far as a company, I think it's still pretty good. They're not dropping uh, rates drastically, I don't think, but I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen? We'll see, but for right now, we'll just take what we can do. Okay, exit 21 and the QT. I can actually go this way to get to where I'm going also because I kind of got to go southwest to get there. Athens is south of 85. Uh oh, what do we got here? We got a crane. Crane that kind of. These tires look okay. Maybe we just had a little engine problem. Put one of those notes on the truck, on the crane. Some red stickers. Still got the hazards on, so. Hazard's still on, it already has a sticker. It means the trooper was on it pretty quick. Unless it's just been having hazards on all night, who knows? Either way, we are at exit 21, and I can go kind of down through Hartwell to get there, where I'm going. Or I could just stay 85 and shoot down from there, but we'll see what GPS says. I'm about 65, 70 miles from it right now. The sun should be peeking up soon, burning off this layer. I woke up in the middle of the night and I had a little glass of water and um, you could hear the rain on the windows last night. I didn't know if it was gonna be raining hard all day or not, but this morning it was no rain, just just a little humid. 68 degrees now. All right, you at rendezvous, you stay right there, please. You at rendezvous, man, the cousin of the uh, Pontiac Aztec, not a, not a great, uh, made vehicle, but looked pretty cool, I guess, back in the day. It's supposed to be a utility machine, but I wouldn't want to be caught out there camping with it. You turn left, you're going right there, uh, power and HVAC, who knows? That's like a mobile air conditioner right there, I guess, mobile heater and air conditioner. Look at that sleeper on that thing. Heck yeah. Let's see if we can uh, avoid his path. Him and her, there's a girl and a guy in it. Give me a little thumbs up as I went by. So what's up, man? Okay. Do not need fuel. That old International Eagle there parked backwards. I like it. Got his van over there, express van in front of his tanker. We take 12. I was born on a 12. Before uh, Peter Bilt's missing a bumper. Got some cardboard in front of him. Radio chatter, but let's go, let's rock and roll. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, trucking. I like it. Chester, Virginia. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go refresh and uh, see what is going on for paths to get there. And looking at the uh, map, looks like uh, this this Volvo is always here. I love it. Um, looks like about 20 minutes low, uh, slower going that way, so I'm just gonna stay. On the 85, go across the lake that way. But this blue Volvo with the fenders, um, over a year, maybe a year and a half that I've seen it at this QT. Whoever owns that, this is definitely home base for you. That one right there. All right, but it is morning time. Somebody just came on the CD and said some profound things um, about the fuel prices. <laughs> it's pretty funny actually, but um, I just said LOL back. Yeah, fuel prices here. 539, pretty much like everywhere else. All right, let's get in here. Those fenders do look pretty cool, but just be worried about a blowout. <laughs> be a heck of a day. What does that say? Guaybo or just Weibo? The G's probably silent. I don't know. Who knows? But hey, let's get in that W9 and get out of here. Let's watch out for the Ryder box truck. Just not get hit by that. But yeah, that guy's a staple at exit 21. Let's go, W9. It's about 60 miles from here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we have a little honeybee walking on the hood right there. Got the windows uh, rolled up, but <laughs> he's just catching a ride, I guess. Looks like he's brushing his hair. I don't know. All right, Volvo flatbed. We'll see you later, man. El, El Shoddy. Anderson, South Carolina, yep. Oh, he's got 316 for his truck number two. That's cool. There you go. Coca-Cola.
Coca-Cola truck, some uh, kind of dollies or those in that little hot shot flatbed. I don't know. Carry something. Some attaches to them. Got the day cab chilling here. Out of service written on the front of the trailer. Okay. Here we go. Catch a left at the line.
up there doing business this morning. It is 8, what, 8.23 in the morning? So it should be open. It should be the South Carolina one, I'm sure was. So I know one over there, I didn't know. Well, no, one on the other side was not getting much traffic, so they might have that closed. But here is the sensors right here. Let off the fuel, give them a good read right there. We are super light, so they really shouldn't, unless they're just checking uh, papers, they didn't really aren't gonna be checking the weight, you know. So here's a little sign to get you truck bypass. So we're just going on by, everything looks good for them. They can take a picture of your uh, numbers and weigh your truck. Or they could just not be open yet, but we're not doing much yet. There's some trucks there that slept there, I can see from here. And, but no one's getting pulled in, so they might just be uh, starting later on a Friday. Maybe they're having a little meeting, who knows? <clears throat> They got a couple of SUVs out there. Well, just one trooper and then one's like a someone's car. And I've never really seen that inspection station way to the right over there, the double door, the big door. I've never seen that being used in the four years I've been coming through here. You do see it in Florida a lot. That's it though. We're exiting four, exiting in four miles and heading south about 30 miles. And we will arrive at our drop. Then we'll see what's going on for the day. Exit 166. Exit 160 is where the blue, the streaking beacon is. Blue beacon. But the truck just got a nice wash last night with that rain, so she's pretty clean. But this is where the pilot is right here with the Wendy's. I didn't realize that was the exit we were taking. And uh, from here, we'll just shoot down. All right, we got the green. Let's go, everyone stopping. Toyota Camry. Toyota Camry stopping. The work truck stopping. Work van. We are rolling. Biscuit actually came on last night when we went out for Cinco de Mayo. T Dubs looks stunning. She stole the show. Had a pretty good Cinco, went out with some good friends. Had some tacos and guacamole and that stuff. But um, yeah, I think it was the song Nookie by Limp Biscuit that came on. I was like, I haven't heard this song for a long time. But here we go. I think I've actually delivered delivered the Kubota parts one time or Kubota trailers. I, I had a couple of tractors in the back of the drive, and I think this is where we delivered them. Stop sign and yield sign. We're going straight, so we're yielding. There's a little John Deere right there. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I got to drive the trailers off the, or the tractors off the trailer. All right, I can't really see, but I can use my mirror. And there is nobody coming. Okay, we're good. Let's go. I'm not 100% sure. Commerce insurance? I don't know where I'm at. I think it's Commerce. South of it. I'm on the 106, and I'm only about, I don't know how many miles I am from Athens, about 10. Well, well I'm gonna go, my Mustangs are, man. Small little town, that's cute. Cute little town, that's teed up for the say. Hometown interiors, okay. Slanted roof with a porch on front. Church, Baptist church, okay. Stuff you see driving the back roads in the southeast is pretty cool. A little bump crown pool, there you go. But yeah, we're almost there. Let's drop the stuff off. Okay, we grab uh, 29 now and take a little bit south from here. Bill's Barbecue, okay. Got the green light, got the F 150 turning. We'll go behind him. Burn some gears, turn some gears, get going. About five miles up here on the left. And there's two ways to get there. One kind of goes direct, but it's a hard back left. The other one's kind of a little snake over to it. So I think we'll take the snake one. Get over there. Then we will see where they want us. If they want to take us early, and then we'll get on these low boards. Truck smarter, we're wearing a shirt today. I saw my closet, I was like, that's where a truck smarter is. Lane because I don't want to put my tires in the dirt. Go by the K. 
Kenworth here, FNS, and then we take another ride on Olympic Drive. But that should be it. What's going on, little Chevy Aveo? Share the road, okay? Oh, it looks like it's just a big old place on the left side all by itself. What's Silgan? Silgan. Sun still hasn't peaked out yet. Lots of cloud cover. Okay, so here we go. You can see how to see the tire tracks. Big old tall guy right there. Oh, God. It's evergreen packaging. That's not where we're going. Watch out, little Honda pilot. Let me get in here. Thank you. Distribution, visitors, uh, no trespassing, okay. But if that's it, then I'm going to be, it looks like that's something else. They all have the same color sign though, so. Uh, receiving, this that's the name of the company right there, Burr, Burr something. So yeah, we're going to go here. Receiving, but right, gate two. and only during security check-in, okay? What do they make here? We will ask. A speed bump here. Let's see what they do. We got a Estes coming out. They've delivered some stuff for me before the house. Nice place. And our old transmission from my Ram is getting picked up on Monday. All right, stop here, I guess. We'll jump out. What do we do? Is someone coming out to me? I come to you. Oh, they're coming out to me. Okay. Come right there. Okay. How you doing? I don't know if you need those. Yeah, I don't know if you need those. It's some packaging with the living. Okay, which company are you with? I'm with RMT. RMT? Yep. Great. Can I see an ID? Right. Nice lady. She asked for my ID. Should have had it with me, but I had it up in my visor. So I grabbed that for her, and she said, up to the left. They'll come out and get you. Okay. A little pothole right here. We'll try to pass that. Without hitting their gate. Okay. I didn't ask her what they made, but I'll ask the people up here. Got some kind of machinery or chemicals. They got a bunch of the vats. Steam coming off. I hear like a big air, not an air leak, but like they're releasing air somewhere. You can always scares you when you drive a truck like this because you got a lot of air systems. <laughs> so you're thinking, did I just blow an airline? Alright, if there was trucks here, this would be pretty tricky because uh, I, mean, I could have came in from the left, but I think I'm going to shoot around this way and that will give me a better angle. What is all that? Some kind of, uh, looks like, like filtering boxes for HVAC units or something. I don't know what those are. Be able to clear that just fine then. Put our nose over here to get our trailer lined up. It'll be a blind side, but it's so wide open it won't be that hard. Once I get the trailer straight again. There we go. Try not to hit their curbs. Somebody has hit the curb right here on the left. Get the trailer to move and then come back. Watch out for their curb and then go back to it. Now that at least when I'm straight, I can if they make me move a door, I can just move over for them. We'll just get out of the way and maneuver it first. Well, there we go. Let's see what door they give us, because I think there was three or four doors. Grab our 
ID and our bills and see where we're going. Looks like there's a door right there. Let's get there. Oh, it's been good to drive it again. Let's see if we can get some else today. Okay. Shock your truck tires. Shock your trucks. Okay. Shock your tires, I would think. But whatever. Try that again. It's about 9.20 in the morning. Uh, but we've been sitting here for about five minutes and nobody came, so we'll ring it again. Hey, that's for uh, Bill and Fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go out the gate, it's going to be that Bill. Okay. Go out the gate, gate, take a right, go up to that dock. Okay. You, you have to check in just like that. Okay, thank you. Okay, building five. <laughs> so we have to leave the whole facility, go to another building. Let's do it. So that's going to be the building right here to our right, he said. Um, and the uh, GPS is trying to take me down one more one more entrance. So yeah, that's part of trucking, though. You never know where you're supposed to go. I'm sure whoever has this route normally knows. But when you take these spot market loads, you're just kind of a one-time thing. So I've never been here. Let's see if she needs to check out me. We just wave goodbye, so we're good. Wave. She probably thinks we're good and unloaded, but no, we're going somewhere else. Let's see if they have another gate over there. Across the streets, I can see like a painting, but I don't see the name of the business. Uh, it's like two people smiling at each other. SWM, no idea what that is. Let's go wide. Oh, rider truck. Coming to our left, or old rider truck since been decals removed. Oh, now it's FedEx, there you go. Little tiny FedEx things on it. Let the Chevy come out, we'll use both lanes. There we go, barely missed that curve. Let's see what building five says. Gate three, distribution, okay. Ah, uh, that's kind of a tight turn there. That's really, yeah, we really got a lot of this. this this is not going to be good. Okay. We're going to have to nine point this thing. Turn our hazards on. Let's see if we can make this turn. Nobody's at the security gate, so we'll probably use the intercom. There we go. Close the intercom. We're going to use a little bit of their curb. If I stayed straight right now, you see that little box down there? So we gotta back up and do another little approach. My goodness. Okay. A little bit more. No one coming from the left. We're not in the other lane. That should give us enough room to straighten it up. There you go. And now we missed that uh, box by about three inches. Stuff. Okay, let's go out and talk to that box. Do, 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 do. Hey! Ah! A little step stool for it. There you go. Justin. RMT. Thank you. Okay, that was a tight turn. Even if I was coming in from the other street, it would have been tight. Um, truck driver's entrance, building five. There's two more doors over there, but looks like these are the three that are being used. I mean, it's like a big hill right here. We're gonna use that. We'll let this Subaru get past us. He was waiting outside the gate. Let him drive where he wants to go. And then we will uh, blindside again. Because we don't really have, we have the room, but that hill kind of makes
makes it weird. You don't want to use that hill to kind of mess up your suspension, bust the leaf spring, something like that. Put the trailer back around, and then cut it. You need to cut it. The trailer's going to come down that hill a little bit, probably like on a foot and a half part of it, and then uh, swing back around. Guys waving at me at the door saying don't don't come in here. So we'll see what he says. You got somewhere else for me? You got somewhere else you need me to go? Not these docks? Uh, is there another one over there? Are those two over there? Okay. I think it just looked like it was the most used. That one had the trash cans around it. But it's just some packaging out of South Carolina. Yeah, just come on. Okay. What do you, six, okay. What are you guys making? What's that? Oh, vaccines? Oh, okay, cool. All right, cool. So the doors that are surrounded by trash cans uh, is where we're going. <laughs> so not right here. He was just like, well, okay, well, open these doors and let's put it over there. We are in there. And the light was already red when we got here. So we'll see uh, if that turns at all. But uh, let's go put our chalk in. Chalk your wheels, and he said we'll get to you when we can, so that's not promising, but hopefully they're uh, sooner than later. We'll see. And let's check out Truck Smarter for uh, loads out here. Okay, let's check out Truck Smarter, that app right in the middle. They changed their icon to a yellow one. And uh, let's see, Noonan Song, thanks for uh, signing up to Alabama, Oak Park to Lake Park. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I always like to refresh it just to see if it's new and make sure that you're you're um, in the current location. It's like where you're at. So it's Athens, Georgia. I set that. Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Buford to West Palm, six hundred miles for fifteen ninety eight. Oh, uh, Illinois, Alabama, Atlanta to Cherokee. Got some uh, birds over there playing in the, in the grass. Seneca, Atlanta, if you're already in Seneca, that's not a bad one, 130 miles, but I'd rather have that be like 850 for that, just to make that day worth it. No, well, that, never mind, that's a weekend load, it's not worth it at all, holding your truck the whole weekend. Uh, what else do we got? Pennsylvania from Pendleton for 16. Anderson to Sterling, that's, Sterling, that's up by Washington, D.C. It's probably light, because it's Anderson, it's probably paper towels, but... We'll pass on that one right now, but that would be at 1850 usually. Uh, Columbus, Ohio, more Pennsylvania. Blue Grace, I haven't used them yet, that broker. Atlanta to Lake Park. I'm a little far from Atlanta, and I don't want to go into Atlanta because of their traffic. Also to Black Mountain, also is on the other side of Atlanta, so that would be nightmare traffic there and back. Yeah, remember that kind of stuff when you're booking your loads. Uh, all the way up to Washington, PA for 16. That Greenville to Williamsport, that's a, that's promising right there. That's kind of, before you get to Pennsylvania, it's an easy run up 81 once you get past Fancy Gap. Yeah, it might be heavy. Looks like it's, it says tanker endorsement. I actually have that. Very valuable. And um, let's see. 1650, that wouldn't need that about 22 probably is what we'll go on that one. So let's put that bid in with the Truck Smarter app. 22, let's try 2250 to start. About 460 a mile. There you go, bid placed. Well, the Truck Smarter is pretty dang easy, guys. I only promote it. Well, I do get paid by them, but uh, it's only because I believe in it. I didn't get paid by them in the beginning, but then I partnered up with them. And they have factoring coming out pretty soon, guys, which is going to be awesome. I'll talk about it in another video. All right, what else do we got? <sighs> College Park, all those Atlanta loads, Trenton to Blooming, PA, 1800 for six for 700 miles. Yeah. Another load unavailable. So someone booked that one or they took it off the board. <sighs> oh, so they counter offered us already on that Greenville load. We'll see what that is in a second. Front Royal, Virginia. It's not too bad. I've never used Load Smart either. Sorry about the wind. I'm actually in my backyard right now editing. I've got Lucy sitting next to me and it's really windy over here. There's tornado warnings. 
<sighs> Cleveland, Tennessee, it'd be too much deadhead to get up there, go through Atlanta. But that's not too bad if you're already in Cleveland. That would take me by the house. Barnwell and Newton, that's not too bad, but Barnwell's a little far from my house. Asheville to Rome, it's been up forever. That load. It's gorgeous outside though, guys. It's really windy, but it's like perfect weather. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Just dropped it off for us. I don't know, 15 minutes. So, did it pretty quickly after you got it going. So, uh, yeah, that one load for uh, Coyote, the counter here stuck at 1900, which is about 400 bucks in fuel to get up there. So, 800 in fuel round trip if we don't get anything coming back. Uh, maybe less though because uh, we'll be empty, we'll have deadhead or we'll have better fuel mileage. So I don't know. That one's okay. I feel a lot better about 2200. That kind of get me home with the fuel. So we'll see if they come up on that. But that's back by the house in Greenville, uh, which is only about an hour from where I'm at, an hour and a half. Got a car coming this way. So we'll see what we got to do. But we are unloaded. The paperwork submitted for this one. And uh, I'm going to go. There's some shopping back there. I'll go back by that big shopping center and just kind of chill out. Are we still locked in? Our wheel chalk's still back there. Uh -huh. So if you do this, back up your truck again. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to get that wheel chalk out. So back it back up. There we go. So pull that thing out, and then we'll go to the shopping center. So we sat there for a little while, but nothing really happening on the load board. So um, look at that. I guess that's a church in front of us. That's a little statue. I don't know what that is, but uh, I figured I'd show you guys that because it looks pretty cool. So we're going to head towards 85 now. Um, we've got Coca-Cola written on the wall. So there's a little roundabout with the church kind of in the middle. Yield, no one coming. Okay. Let's see what it is. Nah, it must be like a city hall or something. What does it say? I can't read that writing on the statue. It's not a church, though. Go old Chevy Cheyenne. Uh, it looks like it's still in use though. There's an old like cannon from a warship on this side. Uh, water department is what it says down there. It's probably a government building for a bunch of different things. City of Danielsville, okay. Police department over there, a little tiny, tiny little brick building. Reminds me of Super Troopers. Great movie, Farva, Officer Farva. Yeah, let's get through here and then get back to 85. And uh, from there, we'll check the load boards again, but that Cowdy load, I'd go for that for 22, but not for, not for the 19 for the weekend load. All the way up into Maryland. We'll see, see what we get. Okay, so we stopped at the pilot right here at 85. Um, Got my wallet. Yep, got my, my cup. It's just kind of a little alarming. Um, typically, I mean, I know it's 11 a.m. and all, almost 11 a.m., but there are so many open spaces. Like, this is a ghost town. You don't really see it like this ever. So, I don't know what's going on in the world, but I'm praying for it. So, we sat there at Wendy's and had a southeastern, southwestern salad, and uh, Gowdy finally came back on a low with this offer right here to the right. Um, there's that lake. Still a little bit of choppy water, but not bad. That, that goes all the way out to Savannah River there to the right. Just keeps feeding down. But um, yeah, so they did that, and then I said, okay, well, we'll try 2100. So I tried 2100 before I left the truck stop, and they accepted. So I looked it up. It's 30 or less than 30 miles from right now, but we were like 45 miles from when we rode that pilot. But um, I've never been to a 255. Black Hawk Road. It says Sunland, but I've never been to that Sunland. We got some brake lights up here. What do we got? Do we slow on? Drop a gear and see what's going on. There we go. But yeah, so we're going up there, pick it up, um, and then see what the weekend holds. We were going to go over to the beach. I don't know about the weather though. I have to look at the forecast, and then we were going to go to the lake, either one of those. Um, and then Sunday I can head up there. Or if this is going to go right by T-Dub's uh, grandma, if we want to go up there and see her. But Cash has school on Monday, and I deliver Monday, so I'm trying to think of logistics of it. That's the game. A blessing to get another load of what, 420 a mile, 424, something like that. That is a huge blessing with how expensive fuel is now. So we'll probably be filling up at 540 a gallon unless it goes up more, 539. So fill up before we get up there because I've heard up there in Pennsylvania it's even worse. It's in the sixes. 
I don't know about Maryland, but that's right on the border of getting into Pennsylvania, all that kind of stuff. So West Virginia, uh, I'm not sure, but this is a little, we're delivering a little sliver of Maryland right above Virginia. So we'll get up there and get that delivered on Monday. Uh, it's going to be a heavy one, but it also requires tanker endorsement. That's the only endorsement I have right now is tanker. So it's pretty, it's a blessing. It's probably just going to be totes of some kind of chemical or something. So it's good to have that tanker one. It's not a hard test at all. I have, so, well, no, I have doubles and triples also. I got that one, but I'm not planning on running for uh, FedEx or nothing, you know, so I don't know. But the hazmat, I got halfway through the test and they called me and said my, um, what's it called? My license had been printed. So I, I was like, okay, cool. And I didn't finish the hazmat test, so. That one, though, it's be useful if you're doing tanker and you're doing like actual tankers with some hazmat stuff. So get those endorsements if you can. It helps you. It opens up more doors. And I also just had JB Hunt call me while I was sitting there getting my salad, um, and they want me to run a project out of Charleston Ports. They're saying the ports are really backed up. It's a Walmart project, and they're three hundred fifty dollars for eleven miles, and they have two thousand of them. Just keep moving containers from the, from the port to like another holding area. I said, yeah, I don't, but you have to have a Twit card and uh, what's the other thing you have to have? I forget what they call it, but all the clearance is to go on the board. So I don't know how many of those you can do a day, but if you get three of those a day, that's pretty good money for 30 miles, a thousand bucks. <laughs> Just some time waiting to get a container pulled out, unless they're already on the ground. I don't know the logistics of it, but if they're already on or ready to drop a hook, then you can do a couple of those a day. But yeah, looking at JB Hunt, they are trying to get stuff out of Charleston Port because they say it's so over congested. So I mean, it's, it's crazy to have that much stuff coming in, but they don't have enough loads. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm just a owner operator trying to work the spot market. I'm done rambling. We saw the lake. We got the load. So that's a good. That's good to have some on the truck for the weekend. Deliver on Monday and uh, enjoy our weekend. Let's go get it. So this is a toll road right here that kind of takes you back towards my house. But I think it's two dollars at two different places. But it really only saves you two minutes. So unless there's a bad wreck or something, I've only taken that maybe twice in the five years I've lived here. Uh, four to four and a half years I've lived here. So and it's just a weird toll road that lets you bypass, but it's not really that useful. But we're gonna go right up here. This is where I used to have to stop to uh, go to Harbor Freight. Go this far, all, this far from my house to go to Harbor Freight. So. Uh, cross over 85 here. Look at those cool clouds. And looks like it's up on the right about two miles. That big crane we saw earlier by the QT, it was getting uh, towed by two wreckers, one front, one back. Looks like that guy's getting towed by uh, somebody. I spent a lot of my time doing my CDL uh, testing, like my, my hours.
bunch of recycled concrete there. It's like it's getting smashed up. Okay, so it's on the left right here. Maybe it's straight ahead. Hmm. Da -da -da -da. Sunland, it's pointing me to the right with that arrow. So yeah, it looks like that's it. There's an available sign on that thing. This is Sunland this way, okay. Nobody behind me, so let's check this out before we make a bad turn. 255. Yeah, I don't know why it's that entering me right there. If you look at the map, it's further down to the... This road, like, wraps around, and it's on the left side. So it's just building on the right of these two buildings on the left, if that makes sense. And they're making, like, pieces of uh, overpass and stuff right here to the right with all that crushed up concrete. Recycling it, making new pieces. Show a lot of you flatbed guys have been over here before. Okay, somewhere. 255 on the left, awesome. Let's check in and see what they got going on. Shipping receiving bay 24. Okay, lots of trucks here. Landstar. Uh, okay. Little day cab Volvo, old school. I wonder what they uh, make here. I don't want to be in anybody's way. There's just a bunch of trailers right here. Those guys are probably loaded, I would imagine, if they're heading this way now. But I don't know. I want to keep my truck heading this way. So I'm going to go straight at this. Uh, it's not a, what is that, a 680? I'm going to back up so he has room to get out or she. Just want my trailer out of the way. We got a Western Star coming in behind me, another Land Star. Da, da, da. All right, let's stay right here and see if that's okay. This 24 is right there. Those cars are. Let's go check in. Bring our ID, and uh, we're about an hour early to our appointment. Western Star parked right next to me. Uh, and this is Bay 24. Let's see what we got going on. Very Okay, back that way, right? It's all the way, all the way down. Very, 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 very,
Doug Moore. Right. Doug Moore. Yeah. Right. Nice to meet you, nice man. You got a half for me? Brought you a son. Thank you, man. Here. So you actually lived in Simpsonville for a little bit? Yeah. And now, yeah. now you're in Mooville? Right. Mooville now. So. so I picked up a Sunland over there off Wade Hampton. Yep. That I've been yeah, up there. But, but I saw this one. I was like, okay, I've never been to this one. But what are you guys just shipping all kinds of chemicals or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah for anywhere? Everything, there you go. So. He's like, hey, man, you got the YouTube channel. I'm like, yeah. I think <laughs> was, that and... Uh, I think you picked up at our Trinity, the Simpsonville location, too. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I dropped the off there. I dropped the off there. that went I don't think for you in Florida, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Was yeah. that you guys, too? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. right in Malden on 276. Yep. I didn't know that was Sunland. Yeah. That one, they, no, there was like sing some. The guy's just like, hey, can you work a deal with me? I'm like, I don't have anything to do with the pricing of these things, man. <laughs> like, you either take them or you don't. I don't have room for them. All right, then. I'm <laughs> taking them back. Well, Coyote, Doug just told me, he's like, you're a little late. And said, uh, well, Coyote had listed at 2.30. He's like, no, it's for 11. So, good old brokers trying to get you there. But, Doug, thanks for the hat, yep. man. Yep. Right. Well, good seeing you. And someone, guys, if you're ever having Greenville, a huge street PL. Are they only Greenville? Are they kind of? Uh, coast to coast. Coast to coast nationwide? Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, he's going to come get you, I think. Yep. Take you back. Nice to meet you, Doug. Take care, right. buddy. Thanks. Well, that was some awesome drone footage. That was cool meeting you, Doug. I just met the other two guys, too. They're like, you're the guy from YouTube. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I live here. <laughs> I'm like, cool, man. So, uh, loaded up. Not bad. That's a, it's a full truck. It's 40,000 pounds. Just put my bills away. Strapped it down and sealed it up. 39.6, so not too bad, but it is like a, a dip, really needed a tanker endorsement because the liquid's very, I don't know what the word is, uh, diluted, water almost. So it's gonna make some surge, what they call it. So when I hit the brakes or go side to side, you're gonna feel a little bit to keep going. You'll, just like a tanker, but not as bad, exaggerated. So that's why they want you to have that tanker endorsement so you know how to handle the movement of the, the liquid back and forth so we are loaded and we are homebound for the weekend but thanks a lot someone that's cool and thanks doug for the hat oh goodness friday traffic on 85 this is when that uh toll road would come in handy but i've already passed it <laughs> so we have what about 15 miles left to go to get to the house we're only 25 miles from the house we started if something just happened up here or we just have some good old bad merging again bad merging but you can definitely feel the surge of the uh, trailer i will see you on sunday big girl all right hello mr grasshopper friend what are you doing Who knows? All right, let's get home. Home sweet home. That was a long day. That was probably one of the longest videos I've ever made right there. Uh, sun's coming out. And then we got somebody coming to pick up uh, the old wheels for this car. And I have to go pick up our boat from the detail shop because it's done being waxed. And that gets picked up Monday. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, those are going bye-bye. See you later. Real nice, just had a crack in them. I could probably repair them, but we bought brand new ones, brand new sensors, so why not? Okay, let's go see what these people are doing. What's up? Did you get Taco Bell without me? What's that? You didn't, oh, I hold you. Oh, hi, Lucy. Hi, Tiki. You do? Well, I guess that gives me something to eat. Did you just not bring the gate in? What? No. They just left it out there? No. So she got, T Dub's got a free gate. I'm gonna take that one back. Yeah. Well, is it the same kind or what, what kind is this one? Uh, it's bronze. It's raw, what? Yes. Bronze. Bronze? Well, let's see if it. I'll keep it. You wanna keep that one? <laughs> what are you gonna do with it? Have two of them? No, uh, it's pretty guy sleeping. Oh, good. The beast is down. All right, Tiki. Say goodbye. You too, Lucy.